Screw it, let's fruit. do a box. A box. What kind of box? Yes, any kind of box. Like a shoe box? A, a box. container, a ring box. box, a present Chinese for your birthday, food box. A, a box. Yeah. All right, is it gonna be time? Do you want? We started already. Wait, wait, wait. Pencils up, please. Oh, Nate, got four minutes to go back. That's what Nate just told me. Right, four minutes. Four minutes, go! Your time starts now. Clean. Yo. Time to roll, bro. Just clean or everything? Just clean. Woo! Alright, well, time's up for me. I got a half a box done. A bunch of these challenges all the time. I think some of the stuff we've been giving people have been really cool and really fun. Yeah, I'm always into any kind of challenges. I feel like being creative with whatever. Me too. It doesn't even matter what you make, you just like do it, you know? All the time for me, when I see a really good tattoo get done, I'm always like, man, that inspires me so much. It makes me want to like go home and figure out a design. And... I'm gonna drop something new, because that's what we do. You're starting over? Yeah, I gotta like, figure it out. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'm just kind of like figuring out shapes and kind of building it, and then keeping it real loose, and then I'll come back and tighten it up. I mean, I get a lot of inspiration from like furniture and antique shops and stuff. Like I'll go to an, into an antique store and take pictures of like wood carvings and textures. And... Are you one of those, do you have to keep these in a rainbow order? Or... Yeah. Oh. All right, you're gonna have to fix. I know you wouldn't be able to tell that from my room. Nope. You think DJ are gonna stick with that one? What? Drawing. I hate it, but I don't know. I hate it. I'm just seeing where it's going. Nope, not into it. Flip it again. Alright, Nate, you're up. Hey, Nate. Not many people like to show their process. You know, it's all about the finished product. And like you saw me, I flipped three pictures because I didn't even know what I was doing. So or I don't know what direction I wanted to go. I try to draw on paper as much as I can still. When I started tattooing, I didn't have a computer or I had a dickhead boss, so stencil machines were out, but we didn't have one, you know? So everything was done by hand, everything was hand drawn. Like a lot of the times you had to draw from what was available in the flash that we had. You had to either go to the library or look at magazines. Yeah, it's a lot easier nowadays, but I still like to draw on paper as much as I can. I like the feel of it, I like to get messy. I do try to double tap my paper. I try to zoom in all the time on my paper. But I think the iPad does definitely. Oh, it's a game changer. Change it changed our, my life. It changed our entire industry, not yeah. just us as artists. Like, we're able to travel now and design shit for people, back pieces in your seat on the airplane. Like, it just makes this entire industry so much more doable, so much more convenient. You don't have to only work in your shop and you can work anywhere. It doesn't look as cool, printed out, framed. I'm trying to put a wood grain on my box. Wood grain on the box. Wood, wood grain on the box. That's like a new, uh, that's, that's like, one. yeah. I'm gonna make that my hook. See, drew it that way, now I'm gonna flip it over. I saw some, some difference. I'm just gonna make something else. And your box is so much cooler. I'm drawing a jewelry box, except I wanted it to be prettier and it ended up looking like a caveman box. I'm, I'm, uh, guys, I'm not into it, I'm not into it. Well, there's my box. It's like a weird, multi-style, freaking, you know? I'm drawing Buddha in a box now.